Alrighty, time to make the Marine Design Corporation High Performance Coupler work. Like the original engine coupler, the diameter needs to be reduced to fit the flywheel. Alright, so machine this up. That fits uh, nicely. It's nice and snug. And before uh, and that was. Uh, fit it over that but without that plastic thing in which is also a great fit <clears throat> then I clamped it together with the dowels out and drilled it from behind and then once I got the uh, the dowel holes in place I uh, put a drill through and you know, used it like a dot punch tap 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 and that gave me my marks and then I was able to uh, clamp it together on the lathe turn it down to the right diameter I couldn't quite get rid of those but they should be still balanced and uh, yeah and I think this just sums it up for the old coupler yes Great news, perfect fit. Okay, I've made a last minute decision on the engine mount bracket and have added another stiffener down the sides. Because I didn't want to remove the sump again, I have welded what I can in place and bolted to the rear of the engine mount what's left. Hopefully I've done enough to make the mount and sandwich plate rigid enough not to flex and leak. Finally it is time to put the engine back in. Now fitted, way at the rotor. So far, everything still lines up, even with the 
slightly different engine position. Side might need a bit of a trim to make it fit. Uh, don't know whether it's the floor sitting higher, but that board was replaced, so maybe it's a couple of mils bigger than it was before. And this side is now the first part of it, it's in, so it sort of looks cool. A little bit of a grubby patch down here, which has been a bit hard to clean, but never mind. A um, bit more, and yeah. Now I've added these uh, brackets to this uh, bulkhead because I just it just seems wrong that the only points are the corners there where it's held on and along the bottom you know and it's just jammed in there so I have added those to give it a little bit more and I'm sure once all the side armrests and stuff on it sort of stiffens everything up more but until then I won't know for sure so I'm just going to um, do what I feel I must probably see on this one All the same colored wires. Well, I'm not sure how they were originally fastened, but I've made these for the dash to um, hold it in place. And I have a nut and a donut locked on. So hopefully it's not coming loose and it doesn't look terrible. I will be using the lower section of the dash. The dimmer and blower labels are actually clear plastic, probably acrylic or perspex with the label on the other side. So if I was to have a light behind the dash, they would illuminate. I probably won't use the switches, but leave them in to cover the holes. Unfortunately, I won't be able to match the finish on the top panel I've made. And I'll also lose the original decals on the lower panel when I refinish it. So... Yes. Thank you for sticking around to the end. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it.